Lesson 57, Review 1. Today let us review these ideas. 31. I am not the victim of the world I see. How can I be the victim of a world which can be completely undone if I so choose? My chains are loosened. I can drop them off merely by desiring to do so. The prison door is open. I can leave simply by walking out. Nothing holds me in this world. Only my wish to stay keeps me a prisoner. I would give up my insane wishes and walk into the sunlight at last. 32. I have invented the world I see. I made up the prison in which I see myself. All I need do is recognize this and I am free. I have deluded myself into believing it is possible to imprison the Son of God. I was bitterly mistaken in this belief which I no longer want. The Son of God must be forever free. He is as God created him and not what I would make of him. He is where God would have him be and not where I thought to hold him prisoner. 33. There is another way of looking at the world. Since the purpose of the world is not the one I ascribe to it, there must be another way of looking at it. I see everything upside down and my thoughts are the opposite of truth. I see the world as a prison for God's Son. It must be then that the world is really a place where he can be set free. I would look upon the world as it is and see it as a place where the Son of God finds his freedom. 34. I could see peace instead of this. When I see the world as a place of freedom, I will realize that it reflects the laws of God instead of the rules which I made up for it to obey. I will understand that peace, not war, abides in it. And I will perceive that peace also abides in the hearts of all who share this place with me. 35. My mind is part of God's. I am very holy. As I share the peace of the world with my brothers, I begin to understand that this peace comes from deep within myself. The world I look upon has taken on the light of my forgiveness and shines forgiveness back at me. In this light, I begin to see what my illusions about myself had kept hidden. I begin to understand the holiness of all living things, including myself, and their oneness with me. 36. 